Hey everybody, it's Randy with Low Buck LS here again, and this week I'm going to show you how to use the real-time tuning feature of HP tuners, so you can tune your VE table while you're uh, driving around. Uh, I'm glad we're finally uh, finally moved on from the topic of fuel injectors. I've got those new uh, decapped injectors in the truck, and it's running pretty good, but uh, need to do some fine tuning of the VE table, so. I'll switch over to the laptop view here and then we'll uh, fire it up and uh, show you how it's done. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so you're going to want to open up your tune and uh, just verify that you've got the real time tuning enabled. So you're going to open up the VCM editor. And one thing to note is well, I'm using like the beta version here. That's. Um, but yeah, one thing I was going to say is not all uh, OS's have the capability of doing real-time tuning. So I'm on a Gen 3 LS based uh, 5.3 liter LM7 engine and I'm also using the 3 bar enhanced OS and I know this one does have the capability of doing the real-time tuning but if you've got a different version of uh, OS or uh, I don't know if it works on the Gen 4 uh, LS based engines and uh, different versions of HP tuners uh, may do different things. Um, the version I am using right now I think is the latest and greatest 4.3.282 beta. So um, I've, and I've got uh, I'll just open up my most recent tune here. This is today's date, March 5th, 2019, so we'll open that one up. And then uh, you go into engine here, and under general, you'll see your real-time tuning mode. And it's already enabled in mine for V, spark, um, power enrichment, and boost enrichment. Um, I turned that on previously. I think by default it's disabled, but... We want it to be because uh, we we're wanting to tune the VE table, so that's the one you want. To, so it already is um, turned on in mine. So now we will. Uh, I'll switch back to the non-laptop mode for a second, and uh, we'll fire up the truck, and I'll show you uh, how I'm going to get started on doing the real-time tuning of the VE table. Okay, so now I'll show you guys how to actually do the real-time tuning of the VE table. So I'm sitting in the truck, obviously, got my uh, HP tuners uh, MVPI. This is the old old school one um, hooked up to the truck, and I've got my laptop here with the scanner open. So I'm going to start up the truck. I'm gonna turn the wheel a little bit. And we'll just wait for the, uh, uh, I usually give it 30 seconds or so for the, uh, the wideband O2 uh, gauge to warm up. And you can see that it is super lean right now. It's like off the charts lean, like reading in the, the 17s almost 18 and off the scale sometimes so basically it, it needs a whole bunch more fuel um, and that could be because it's pretty cold outside I don't know if you can there's snow on the ground it's probably minus 10 degrees Celsius so that is probably gonna cause things to be pretty lean and also I've just got those freshly decapped injectors in there so um, those may be acting differently at, at idle pulse widths. They may, it's looking like they might not be uh, injecting enough fuel. So basically uh, it needs a whole bunch more fuel. So in order to do that, we're going to go into our scanner and I'm going to connect to the vehicle. it's doing its uh, connecting thing here I could be doing this on the laptop view but I want you guys to be able to see the the wideband O2 gauge as well at the same time while I'm doing this so we're connected 
I will start scanning and we'll confirm that we're getting valid uh, data from uh, from the truck ECU here which we are so um, if you look at this uh, up at top here this wrench with the lightning bolt that's the icon for real-time tuning so we're gonna click on that which opens up another graph here and we're gonna go to this uh, green arrow which is used the RAM table so that's gonna pull the VE table out of the truck ECU and store it on our computer so we can edit it so I'm going to click on that button and you can see it's it's reading the table from uh, the truck computer so we'll give it a minute for that to populate takes a little while it's not the not a real fast system so now you can see our actual VE table and you can see that box jumping around there that's that's the cell we're currently running in so we're in the uh, 800 rpm column and bouncing between 30 and 35 uh, kpa of manifold pressure so and yeah we're still super lean so in the the two cells that it's bouncing around in there i'm going to take my mouse over and click on the one that and highlight the one that it's currently running in mostly and then if we hit the the plus sign here you'll see that see how it's going up 75 76 77 so I'm uh, richening up that VE table I'll take it up a little more here so we can notice a notice a change but now, now it's running in that cell above it quite a bit here. It's, you can see this, the rectangle is bouncing up to that 68. So I'm going to press the up arrow key to move the highlighted cell up to that. And now I'm gonna press the, the plus sign again and you'll see it go up 69, 70, 71, 72. So now let's have a look at our Wideband O2 again. And you can see it's better. It's, uh, you know, before it was high 17s, almost to 18 and off the scale sometimes. So we're moving in the right direction. So I'll hit that plus arrow a few more times. And we'll just give it 10 or 20 seconds to stabilize and yeah you can see again we're getting closer to where we want to be we want to be at 14.7 because we're running on um, premium pump gas so it'd be again it'd be different if we were running e85 or if, if you're in a somewhere in the states or wherever where e85 is common at the pump you'll be aiming for a different afr value but where I'm at in Canada here, we uh, don't have E85 readily available, but uh, you can s see it still needs to be richened up. So I'm gonna go back, hit the plus arrow a few more times. See how that affects things. Still, still needs to go more. So,
now you can see we're getting closer. Um, as I've been um, richening it up, the manifold pressure has been going down, so I've been having, I had to jump up to this cell above it as well here. But you can see now it's closer to, uh, closer to stoic or stoich or whatever you want to call it. But I'll go another couple percent more in uh, the cell where it's currently running at. And yeah, now we're, we're actually in the 14, so. I'll go one more, we'll take your 95. Oh, now it's up. It's kind of weird. I think adding fuel would uh, make it richer, not leaner. But anyways, that's how you, uh, I'm not actually gonna drive the truck and try and tune it right now because I don't have an assistant and I would probably crash if I tried working the laptop and driving at the same time. But um, uh, I'll switch back to the laptop view for a second here and just explain one more thing. Stand by. Okay, so um, like I said, I switched back to the laptop view here. And there's one other thing. Um, yeah, right now we're using the RAM table. So it's taken this table from the truck computer and stored it on the on my laptop here, and we're making changes. Um, if you hit this green square, that'll switch back to using the flash table, which is stored in the truck computer. And you could use all flash tables by using this blue square but in order to make these changes permanent you still have to save it um, to the um, use the VCM editor to save it permanently to your to be part of your tune so basically what I would do if I had an assistant was find a long deserted road somewhere and try and hit as many cells as possible as I could like try to keep my rpm at 1200 and vary the load by either putting on the brakes or going up a hill or whatever and try and hit as many of these cells as possible and then go up to 1600 and work on this column here and try and hit as many of these cells as possible but um, in order to make those changes permanent you've got to copy this table so right click on it and go copy and then we've got to open up our, I'll just stop scanning here for, and then we've got to go into the uh, editor again. And open up our tune. And open up engine. Airflow main VE, and then we can go paste, and that'll paste those changes that we just made here. And then uh, obviously, we've got to write that to the truck. So, shut off the truck for a second, turn the key back on, and then write vehicle. Calibration. Oh. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it's probably because I'm still connected in the scanner. So, gotta go over here to the scanner, disconnect. Now I should be able to hop over to the editor. And yeah, now it's one thing I forgot you can't be hooked up to the uh, truck ECU with both the scanner and the editor at the same time did I just say scanner <laughs> anyways you can't be uh, hooked up using both programs at the same time so that is what you need to do to uh, make the changes permanent I will just
just uh, turn the camera around here for a second and we'll wrap this video up and now that this uh, right is done I'm going to save this I'll just save this tune it's already saved with today's date so close out of that and uh, I'll be back shortly to wrap this video up okay so uh, that's all for this week um, next week or in the coming week I'm going to be work on, working on uh, installing those new hooker cast manifolds on the truck and uh, redoing my hot side so we will uh, talk to you guys again next Tuesday thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe and we'll uh, talk to you next week bye for now